Welcome to HP Tuner's Ford Gen 1 Coyote Training Part 6. In this training module, we're going to take a look at using the repository feature that can be found on HP Tuner's website to download stock equivalent files, also using the compare feature found within our VCM editor software so we can compare two files and outline the differences between files. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with the repository feature found on HB Tuner's website, as well as the compare feature found in our VCM editor software. We're able to compare two files against each other and see the differences. So this is going to be very useful if we're looking at a tune file to a stock file, or if we're just trying to compare two files, let's say that are stock, we can see and highlight the differences very easily, and then we can actually copy and paste data between files. We're going to look at that a little bit later in the video, but let's jump in and talk about the repository. Now, the repository is going to allow us to download files that users from HP Tuners, like yourself, could upload if they've done a read out of the vehicle. Now, this could be a stock file that they've read out of the vehicle, which is useful, or it could be a modified file that they've tuned and they want to share with the community. Now, I'm always skeptical about taking tuned files and using them on a car. I wouldn't recommend that we blindly take a tuned file and upload it. What we want to do is use the repository to be able to download files for reference sake. So we're going to be comparing maybe a file that we find, a stock equivalent file, on the repository against what we've read out of our vehicle. Let me go in and demonstrate this real quick. So the first thing I want to do is open up the file that we illustrated how to do a read and write process with in the previous tutorial. I'm going to go and do that right now. So go to File, Open. And we're going to open this up. So we're going to jump up here into documents. I created a subfolder, a custom folder for this particular read. So we're going to go to HB Tuners and into Logs and Tunes, and then here into 2014 Mustang. Now remember, we saved it original files original, and then BaseCal one as the file that we were starting to modify from. So we didn't save over top of the original file. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go to open. Now what I'm going to do is use this file as my starting point, my reference. I'm going to go into the repository and download another file. And I'm going to do a compare feature, and we're going to be able to compare the differences between this file and another file. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to jump in here to our browser, and we're going to go in, sign into your account on HP Tuner's website here at the very top. We can see Welcome Jeffrey Evans. That's my account. I'm going to go click on this. It's going to allow me to jump into the repository. So if I go here to the left side of my screen, we can jump into Tune Repository. And this is going to bring me into another screen, which is going to allow me to filter down the specific gear make model that I'm looking for. In this case, let's compare this against a 2013 or 14 Mustang GT. Now, the file that we're dealing with here and the vehicle that I'm dealing with is a 2014 Mustang GT. So let's find something comparable, 13 to 14 model here. Let's go in here to year. I'm going to type in a 2013, just so there's something slightly different. We can use the comparison feature and just see the differences. The make, we're going to go here and type F for Ford, which is going to get us right here and populate to Ford. Model M for Mustang, and we'll use our down cursor here and go into Mustang. And then engine and transmission, we can fill this down by the engine, so V6, V8, or auto or manual. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that just unpopulated as all, so it picks up everything. We can also narrow down our search if there's a lot of files based on mods that you have done. So if you're looking for maybe a Coyote setup that's been tuned with cams, maybe supercharger, you could type that in here, supercharger, cams, etc. You can find that can filter out maybe if you have a lot of uh, files. Now, from my experience in the Ford repository, there isn't a whole lot of files to share. So you'll probably not want to go in and have that uh, populate with some kind of a search term. Let's go to search repository and let's see what this brings up. So we will find here as we're looking down, we have these different options. We have a Superjet Cobra file. We have a boss file. We have just stock files or auto or manual. We have a V6 file. I'm going to go up here and just download this boss file. Let's see what this is going to look like. We can compare the boss file against a base GT file. There is going to be a difference and we're going to find out what that's going to be. Let's go to download this tune, and we're going to click OK here. It's going to tell us that they're not responsible for downloading a file off the website. Could damage your engine. That's fine. We're not going to use it for any tuning purposes, just comparison purposes. Let's click OK here. Now, this is going to bring us to another screen. This screen is going to have us click on this link, which is going to allow us to then download the actual file. We can see the file went into my download section, and we can find that that file has downloaded. It looks like right here. Let's go in and let's open up our software. Well, our software is actually open, and let's go in and use our compare feature and open up that file and compare it to the file that we've modified and read out of our PCM that we're dealing with here. 
So in order to use the comparison feature, we're gonna jump up into compare. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.